In the Context for Learning Mathematics units, we have used context from children's lives as starting points and crafted them to support learning. We have built potentially realizable suggestions for modeling and constraints to inefficient strategies into the context and have carefully chosen numbers that will foster and support the development of numeracy. We have juxtaposed related problems together to cause children to have to grapple with resulting patterns in data and to wonder, why is this happening? Will this always happen? For grades kindergarten through three, we have crafted original read-aloud books that establish the context for learning. The images and text are designed to intrigue children and ignite their imaginations. For example, the story about the endearing but hopelessly disorganized Maslapi family engages students in exploring quantities, counting and grouping, and introduces the number system. In Grandma's Necklaces, a young girl sets out to design necklaces that match the beautiful patterns in her grandma's necklaces, and she discovers that it is not just the beads that are special, the numbers are too. The story sets the stage for investigations in which students explore doubling and pairing, as well as even and odd numbers. El Bisabuelo Gregorio tells the story of Carlos, who upon meeting his great-grandfather becomes very involved in investigating age differences. With this story, students explore some big ideas about subtraction. The contexts are situations children can imagine, either realistic or fictional, that enable them to reflect on what they are doing and apply mathematical thinking to their own world. While the contexts are based in diverse settings and cultures, they build on the shared values for family, friends, and communities. For grades 3 through 5 and 4 through 6, large, colorful posters establish the context for learning. These contexts include age-appropriate children exploring and mathematizing real-world problems. This poster of four students on a field trip discussing equitable ways to share three sandwiches sets the stage for learning about fractions. The crafting of the context, as reflected in this poster, invites repeated addition, skip counting, the use of partial products, and doubling strategies. It is used to introduce multiplication. The contexts are developed around landmark numbers or number relationships that are significant and telling. The models and metaphors within a context may make relationships and strategies more tangible and explicit. During the course of an investigation, a seemingly simple box of chocolates introduces students to the open array as a model for multiplication and division, and a gas gauge introduces the double open number line helpful for addition and subtraction of fractions. The development of modeling is an important part of our approach. Some of the models we make use of are the open number line, the arithmetic rack, the open array, the ratio table, the clock, money, and the double open number line. In our work, we have found it crucial to progressively develop models, first as models of a realistic situation, then as a model to represent computation strategies, and only later as a mathematical tool to think with. Math ideas do not exist in the model. They exist in a learner's head as he or she makes meaning. Showing learners how to make jumps on a number line as a way to do addition can become just rote, non-meaningful activity if the learner does not fully understand what a number line is. It is not just a line with numerals on it. It is a distance of iterated units. Similarly, arrays do not help children understand multiplication and division unless the relationship of rows and columns to area is really understood. When models are developed through modeling realistic situations first, they can become representational tools in the community. As Vygotsky put it, they become cultural artifacts of the community, tools. They take on meaning and eventually can become powerful tools for thinking, generalizing, proving, and even doing algebra.